Hello, I'm Julie Hedges and welcome to The Tarot Journey by Julia Hedges. I am at the park. It's Saturday in the park and it's after the 4th of July, but I know that you're thinking of that song just like I was thinking of that song. Love those little puns. So, being at the park, all kinds of stuff going on. So the kids are playing in the background and people are having a picnic over here and this really noisy motorcycle drove by and I can still hear it um, but I'm just enjoying this day it's about 75 degrees and sunny and it's just warm and beautiful and there's no humidity and that is really a blessing because these are coming into kind of the dog days of summer and and so we get those sweltering hot days, but I've had the sunroof open today, I've had the windows cracked, um, I'm enjoying just the outdoors, and um, I posted something a little bit earlier about a prayer that, um, that I have been using for a few weeks now. It's kind of a, a new prayer that I've been using, but it's the Archangel uh, Blessing or rather the blessing of the archangels. Um, when I, I call in sacred space for myself twice a day. So in the morning as I'm going about my routine, so that's, you know, brushing my teeth and doing my hair and all of that before I'm leaving the house, I'm, I'm doing my meditative prayers. And that's also setting sacred space and setting my tone for the day. And then at night before I go to bed, I also do a um, very similar set of prayers. And then of course during the day if there are prayer requests that come through and um, you know, I keep a, a real active eye on Facebook scrolls, you know, people who need prayer of right now. And so I, I you know, send little Reiki and prayers then during the day. But this Archangel blessing is woven into um, the other practices that I that I have, but I love it because it it makes me think of these particular the four primary archangels, their roles in um, in the cosmos and in my life and their gifts and the blessings that they can bestow specifically to me and I can I can wear that throughout the day I guess I'll say I can wear that so it goes something like this Archangel Saint Michael please bless my body Archangel Saint Raphael please bless my sight Archangel Saint Gabriel, please bless my voice. Archangel Saint Uriel, please bless my feet as I move throughout my day. And then I move on to the other parts of the prayers that I do to set my sacred space, which also sets the tone of the day. And so sacred space is about establishing my, my boundaries, my energetic and auric boundaries in the world. Hi, Linda. So I use that as part of my, my prayers. And when I do that archangel prayer, it helps me to think about the attributes of that particular archangel and and what that archangel offers to humanity. So I begin with Archangel Saint Michael and um, when I pray at Archangel Saint Michael, please bless my body. So when I'm saying that I'm thinking of specifically my solar plexus and that that fire of will and personal power as he is carrying the sword of truth, you know, that sword of truth that cuts away um, the dross and the bedlam and, and all of the kind of the craziness. And so it helps me center kind of into my body. Because uh, I live, I tend to live in my head a lot. 
even though I'm a Capricorn, I have a Sagittarius mind and and several planets in Sagittarius, and so Sagittarius is very much a mental uh, sign. Um, so those energies are, are part of me very strongly. And so Archangel St. Michael, that blessing of my body helps me get into my body. And then I always vision him with his sword of truth, the flaming sword of truth that not only cuts it away, but it burns it up and cauterizes. And also the prayer part for Archangel St. Raphael. Saint Raphael, I ask him to please bless my sight. Archangel Saint Raphael is the, the angel that blesses the blind, helps the blind to see. He was the angel that greeted, I guess you'd say, um, Saul on the road of Damascus. Um, when he was blinded, so he led him into town where he needed to meet the person um, to continue on his path. So Archangel Saint Raphael helps the blind to see. So please bless my sight, not only my eyesight, but also my internal sight, my insight, my clairvoyance. So your physical sight, but also your insight internal sight. So I always think of those two levels when I think of Archangel Saint Raphael. And then I say, Archangel Saint Gabriel, please bless my voice. So Archangel Gabriel is the, the messenger angel, right? He's the one who appeared to the shepherds out in the field, said, hey everybody, there's a new baby in the manger over there in Bethlehem. He's kind of special, so you need to go see him. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for this little quick Saturday in the park on the tarot journey. So just talking about Archangel St. Gabriel, the messenger angel. So when I say, please bless my voice, it's not only the physical mechanism of my voice and my voice box, but it is also my diaphragm. So the diaphragm is very much also part of your voice. And the diaphragm really is located in your solar plexus area. So that's the muscle that makes you breathe, really. I mean, your lungs do the breathing, but it's like the pump. So it pumps the air into into the lungs and if you see the diaphragm on babies as babies are sleeping um, you'll see their stomachs going up and down and up and down and up and down and that's the diaphragm moving and singers are very much aware of the diaphragm as um, that's how we're supposed to breathe and so we're really supposed to exercise that and as a singer I uh, try to be very cognizant of that so even the voice up here in the throat chakra, but also that diaphragm that pumps that air. So that's the physical side of my voice and the forming of the words, but my voice means more than that. And you know what I mean. So my voice is the part of me that speaks with confidence and the authority of my life. And um, how do I wanna say? So my voice is also my style, the word choices that I use, how I communicate um, my point, how I communicate my teachings, how I deliver the message, whatever that message is. So if it's a message from spirit or it's, it's something that maybe I need to um, speak to my office mates and, and other uh, business departments at my job because I do have a a corporate job as well as um, my adventures on the tarot journey. So my voice is all of those things. It's it's the intention part and the confidence part and as well as the physical part. So when I'm praying for that blessing from Archangel Saint Gabriel, the messenger angel, then I'm thinking about those things. And lastly, the last part of the prayer uh, the blessing of the archangels is Archangel Saint Uriel. Please bless my feet as I move in my world. And so, again, this is 
thinking about my body and yes specifically my feet because I need my feet to move and it's going to take me from place to place but it's also how I finesse life you know if I'm dancing through life if I'm rolling through life or cartwheeling through life or shuffling or I don't know stomping through life we don't want to stomp like that do we but please bless my feet please bless the way that I move through my life and focusing on that physical part but that intention that intentional movement so yes I need to um, be cognizant of am I stomping through life like this should go this way and it's not going the way I want to so stomp 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 or am I dancing freely am I enjoying things am I out here in the park um, kind of sauntering through life strolling through life um, how is how am I moving and it, it is bringing me back to my body when I'm speaking of the feet to be aware of my movements. I'm a very intense person. Uh, people who meet me face to face, they, they say, ooh, you're intimidating. And for me, I don't really understand that. Um, but I am very intense. So if I'm concentrating on something or I, I really want something to, um, to happen, I'm focusing all of my energy and my intention on that. And so that can be intense. So I understand where people can say that I'm a little bit intimidating because I have such a, a presence when it comes to that. So again, this is bringing me back to understanding about myself, how I'm moving through life. Archangel St. Uriel is um, really the angel uh, is angel of faith so am I walking in faith am I believing that the actions that I take are for the good of myself and for others for the highest good um, of all including myself harming none um, and is it faithful faithful to my path faithful to the tarot journey Am I walking in integrity and being spirit led, um, taking that right action, taking that step when I know, okay, I have a path before me. I can choose to go right or I can choose to go left. Might look different on your screen there, but am I walking with the integrity that I hold? And so I pray that blessing. Um, this particular play, prayer, the, the blessing of the archangels, is one that is part of my overall routine. So it's kind of right there in the middle of the meditative, contemplative prayer work that I do twice a day to, what I say, call in my sacred space and working with my, my allies, my team. And it's very important now, especially with all of the influences that we have we have planetary influences we have people places and things um, all of those influences as I'm navigating my human form through all of that noise and all of that vibration and um, so as I'm walking through this I need that centering and I need that protection Thank you, Judy. Um, Judy says, I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. Hi, Rochelle. Um, thank you all for, for being with me today for this short uh, discussion of prayer. Let me scroll up here, see if I've got others here. Linda was on. You're going to let me. Hmm. Not going to let me scroll up any any higher, but thank you all for for being here on a Saturday afternoon, Saturday in the park, right? I just love it. So you see the trees and in, in the background and making a beautiful beautiful breeze. So I'm sharing just a little bit about my own 
tarot journey and how I navigate um, these adventures that I'm on because even though I am working with with all of you who are on the tarot journey and thank you for taking the tarot journey with me I'm also boots on the ground putting on my pants every day uh, brushing my teeth just like all of you and I'm having to do my work and um, sometimes it really does feel like I'm having to slog through a lot of things um, so when I when I take the time to do my meditative work saying my prayers and calling in sacred space I'm that much more prepared I'm surrounded by my team I'm surrounded by those prayers and um, it helps me to move with more finesse and ease and gentleness on this tarot journey that I'm on so I wanted to share the blessing of the Archangels with you and please remember that on Monday afternoons, I don't have a set time, but on Monday afternoons, please join me for Monday Meta. Monday Meta Live right here on my Facebook page. Um, every afternoon on Mondays. Every Monday afternoon for Monday Meta. Mo Monday Meta is all about loving kindness. The actionable, purposeful, loving, kind action and intent to um, make the world a better place for yourself and for others. So I close with may the peace that surpasses all human understanding be with you throughout this whole weekend and join me Monday for Monday Meta Live. Thank you. Om Shanti. <laughs>